All rise. Master Case Circuit Court is now in session. Honorable Judge John Putman presiding. Be seated, please. Did you hear that, Mike? State versus Richard House, 13-205, charged with domestic battery. Richard House. You know, Mr. Carter and I are in ongoing negotiations in this case. The matter is set for September 23. It needs to stay on that date, and we're not uh, asking that it be changed. I, I would ask, Your Honor, that given the ne negotiations, and what we feel like uh, will ultimately be a plea that um, he be allowed to reappear on September the 18th. And uh, knowing that if we don't reach a plea on that date, that we go to trial on the 23rd. September 18th, you say? Yes, Your Honor. That'll be the order of the court. Thank you, Your Honor. State versus Matthew Rose, 14-212. Possession of morphine. It's like he, Mr. Uh, Rose is appearing for arraignment. Is that That's correct, Your Honor? He's indicated he wants to hire private counsel based on his incarceration. Public Defender's Office would uh, just handle the arraignment portion. Okay. Wave reading of the information or plea of not guilty. Ask oh. for an attorney status next time the court's going to be here. Cases before Judge Webb. Let's see. He looks like he's here on September 25th. Seated, sir. Thank you. State versus Christopher Brophy, terroristic threatening 14 209. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, Your Honor. Um, at this point in time, I'll be staying in with Mr. Brophy. I think you were talking about him hiring me privately to represent him. Okay. We're waiting reading of the information and our plea of not guilty. Uh, the state has agreed, Judge, to a bond reduction to $2,500 in this case. There will also be a provision that you won't have any contact with. Okay. Your Honor, as the court will note, the bond in this matter was set uh, really high. That was due to this gentleman's activities on the night he was arrested. Since that time, he's been in, he's been incarcerated. He has been evaluated by Health Resources of Arkansas, and I have talked with the officer, and we think at this time a bond of $2,500 uh, with the provision that he had no contact with the victim in this case, which would be his uh, his wife, perhaps his ex-wife and his children, absent, and I believe they've obtained a protective order as well yesterday in this court. So okay. at this time, we would have no objection to that. Very well, bond be set at $2,500. He'll reappear on September 25th at 10 o'clock a.m. for attorney status. Thank you, Your Honor. You may be seated. 